Hello, I'm Landis, and welcome back to this war of mine. Hopefully this doesn't end on day 26 like it did last time, otherwise I've messed up again. Okay, so we're back, we've been raided. Pavel is feeling better. Good. And we use some bullets to save ourselves, and yeah, all that goodness. Still. Well, it's just not that cold. It might be getting better. Day 24 is not a food day. Powerful, you don't look better. I'm going to be honest, you're still sick. You're hungry and sad. You're sick of recovering. Why do, why do we not have meds? I'm sure I gave you all meds. Oh, this is annoying. I need more meds. Okay. Um... Yeah, not going well. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. We don't really need any of this because we've got that. We need this. Yeah. Yeah, we need you. I don't think we can actually afford to run you the problem but we'll do it anyway now you're tired to get to bed the temperature's getting better so which I think it is yeah because it was 13 at 3 and 3 last time so yeah still need mods you're not tired get back up here and have a look at this Okay, so don't care about the bandage. Herbal meds are growing that, but we've only got one pure alcohol. What do we need to upgrade you? Oh, yeah, yeah, electrical components. All right, go to bed, because you're tired, you're useless. That's that done. So we can at least get some moonshot now. We can't actually have any feckin' water. And we haven't got any fuel. Uh-oh. And the temperature's dropped. I've got a funny feeling I'm not liking this. Alright, let's make a couple of fuel from books. Because we don't have a choice. And then, try and skip the day. Well, this is good news. It says here we are led to believe that International Peacekeeper is going to put an end to the civil war in Grasnia soon. And then on this one, it's we have confirmation that Peacekeeping forces are indeed en route. So... This could be another day where... That's a small episode. <laughs> Maybe should have pushed through. But yeah, we've got, what, an hour before... There's no chance of an event. And, yeah. I don't know where we're going to go, because... Did we leave anything at the hotel? I, I don't remember. I mean, there's meds. Could steal the meds. Then again, if the snow's clearing up. Right, let's go put some fuel in here just to be safe. Now I'm going to skip the day. That'll probably do. Actually, you can eat today and we'll switch to evenings. Evenings? Even numbers. I think that's the plan. Because we need to start worrying because she's sad and the other two are sick. And these are all issues I need to fix because they can progress to worse things temperature stayed okay ah due to snow well there's still lots of stuff here apparently can we leave stuff at Old Town? not much uh, people say some desserts from the army chairs for the hideout hmm well, back to the hotel. You sleep. You know, yeah, you you sleep. You both just sleep. You scavenge. Do you know you got? And we're going back to the hotel. Do I not have an axe? An axe would be nice. Damn it. Yeah, we'll try and make an axe tomorrow. 
Because this one may be a loss. I think if we can't ride out the days. Yeah, there's not much here. Uh, okay, coffee. I think at this stage it's pretty much just wood. We could take a book. No. Oh, well, we've got enough to come back here, but... It's not great. There's still snow. Bloody hell. You got a feeling this snow's gonna like last forever. Roman is pain and coughing tight, severely sick. Are you fucking serious? Ah oh, no. Okay. Get in a bed. We are gonna have to go steal those meds. Ugh. Yeah, we need more than food, right? Stop here. Feed him. Oh, now he's sad as well. Yeah, there's not much I can do. I get in a bed. Yeah, stop. Feed him. So everybody's sad. Uh, I need those herbs. Yeah, get in a bed. Yeah, it feels like <laughs> this stage we're going to be running the clock. Because even if we get the the shop, we're not really going to be able to afford the meds. So not got much left to sell. Thought it was getting better. It was not. We can take the fertilizer. I'm not likely to use it. Everyone's probably going to be dead by the time I hit that stage. So yeah, we've had another day of nothing. Um, built body armor in case the shop turns up tomorrow. Building some fuel to heat the place overnight. But I think we're actually going to have to go steal. It's just... It, with them both severely ill and everybody sad now. We we're at the stage where the needs of the many have to outweigh the few. And that one crazy man is sitting on more meds than he's going to need. Uh, my boys are getting ill. So we need to go get those. We also didn't have enough to make any axe. And oh my god, the war just ended. I was literally talking about breaking out and stealing stuff. And we didn't have to. <laughs> we survived. Just. Saving life on day three. Our neighbor's children asked us for medication for her. We shared what little we had with them. Which we probably could have, in retrospect, done without. Kasha saved a girl from a drunken soldier. Day four. We're quite a busy start. Pavel was looking for shelter, and we let him stay with us on day eight. The children we had helped earlier came to us for food. We shared with them. Day 25 ceasefire. Okay. <laughs> that was a large portion of F all there. So I, I've done that thing again where the season's ended on a short one. After the war, Roman sought out his former buddies and, much to his great relief, learnt that most of them admired his courage and the decision he made. He returned to his neighborhood and became a leader of the local community. Kasha used her contacts to find her parents in a refugee camp abroad. She brought them back to the city and helped rebuild their house. Soon after that, she published a war diary, which became a bestseller and drew widespread attention to the fate of civilians during the war. Pavel survived the war after months of searching. Despite numerous difficulties, he managed to find his wife and son, who had sought refuge in France. He went there to live with them. They never came back to Pagoran. And I don't blame them. So, 
two seasons down. Third season to come. It won't be like last time where I surprised y'all with the start of the next season shortly after. This is actually just going to be a short episode and I'm going to take the rest of the day off because I get to. But what we can do is get set up that we've got one left to do. So we had two ideas for the next season. There was going to be one with the kids or just a complete asshole run where we do everything wrong. So to give you an example of the options we have, um, if we did a, the, the Little Ones DLC or a child run, uh, we've got Ishta and or Ishkra, Ish, Iskra and Christo, which would be difficult because it's one adult, one kid. We've also got Arika, Ivano and Henrik. I think that might actually be two kids. I'm not sure. So I don't know if I know or Henrik. That'd be rough. Or there's Zlata, Amelia, and Kalina. Which is basically two useless people and a child. Or the new one we just unlocked. Which is Marin, Arika, Kasha, and Misha. This, this one I wouldn't mind doing, this new one. So I think, after trying to prolong this episode as long as possible if we were to do a little ones playthrough it would be Marin, Arika, Kasha, Misha and for the arsehole run we would probably go with Bruno Roman and Arika so that's way actually Marin and Kasha but then Kasha gets butt hurt if we start but maybe hmm Okay, so that's the choices. You need to just let me know in the comments whether you want Season 3 to be Little Ones with uh, Marin, Arika, and Kasha, and Lil Misha, so we can see the, the dynamic the children bring, or if we're going to do an asshole run with Bruno, Roman, and Arika. Bearing in mind, Bruno's the cook, so he's going to help us make meds and food, and Roman's a killer, and Arika's a thief. Or, third option, asshole run with Arika the thief, Marin the Builder and Kasha the Trader. Bearing in mind, Marin and Kasha are normally affected by bad events, Arika's not. And I think here, just Bruno is affected. Like these two, Roman and Arika, won't be. But yeah, the choice is yours. Let me know in the comments which one you want, and we will start that next week for season three. But until then, if you enjoyed this episode, tickle the like button, perhaps subscribe, check out the rest of the channel, and why not join us on our Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and Patreon. Links are in the description, and rolling through the credits right now. I've been Landis. This has been a very lucky war of mine. Thank you very much, and see you soon.